Hey guys, so today I want to make a quick little game, game benchmark comparison here uh, with the Galaxy Mega, uh, which is super huge and big phone. And I see that a lot of people uh, do enjoy this phone uh, overall. Very, very big, very, very nice. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, we have the Galaxy S4 here, and we'll be trying out two apps here to compare it. Of course, uh, the Galaxy or the Galaxy S4. The Galaxy S4 costs a little bit more, around maybe 550 euros. This one maybe 450 euros. And uh, I mean, you of course pay a lot for getting that bigger screen. Yeah, 6.3 instead of a 5 inch. I mean, it definitely is a big, big, big difference. But uh, if you see my pocket test videos, you can see that this one perfectly fits in the pocket. But this one is dual core, general 305 instead of 320. While the S4 here has quad core clock of 1.9 gigahertz. So uh, start off here by checking out the Geekbench app. You can also see that you get a little bit more RAM here inside of the Galaxy S4, 1.78 gigabytes. QCOM here, uh, 1.9 gigahertz. QCOM here also 1.7. So and you also can see here I'm having the Google Edition Android 4.3 versus Android 4.2.2. Let's do this. We check it out here a little bit. if we can get the score up and running. And there we go, we got a score here and the score that we basically got was 3,198 here. Uh, on the Galaxy S4 and a score of only 1,877. Pretty interesting how you can see that the display, how it adjusts to the LCD or not the LCD, but some kind of another display technology here on the Mega. You can see that they have stacked it a little bit different here because they probably think it's a, some kind of tablet or something. Uh, but of course it's just a normal phone, um, which is just a little bit bigger. Uh, you can even see here in terms of colors that white co the, the color white definitely looks better here on the Galaxy Mega. And then we'll be checking out another app here, the 3D, uh, more of like a 3D app. And you can see we have some problems running this benchmark in, in, in the Go Edition here under 4.3. You don't see those figures that's, that you should be able to see. I'm not quite sure why, but I mean, you know, with technology that sometimes you do have problems. But we, I do know that we, we are going to get a score in the Galaxy S4 because you always get a score. You always get a score. You always get a score. <laughs> But if you want to know something more like in depth uh, about the Mega, uh, please let me know about that. I mean, I've been getting a lot of requests and I've read those, and then uh, a lot of times with the videos about the requests that I see. And of course, these are being run in different resolutions. Pretty sure you have a 720p resolution here on the Mega and 1080p here on the S4, which could make it a little bit harder here on the S4. Let's see, we got a score of 6,995 here on the S4 and the score of 3,487. So you can really, really see a difference here, of course, mainly because it's not the, the GPU is super bad here on the Mega. I mean, they have the same kind of GPU technology here almost. QCOM Adreno 305, this one Adreno 320. So let's try to run this little test there in the same resolution uh, with the off-screen benchmark. And we'll see what we are gonna get. Usually they do run this uh, this uh, off-screen benchmark. I mean, when they do run it in the same resolution, usually it's some kind of weird resolution. <laughs> but uh, that is probably the more of a, like a fair score. So we're waiting here. We are waiting. We are waiting.
it, I know that it looks like this phone is dead here, but the Adreno, uh, Adreno or this software now running here doesn't seem to be working that good. So we've got a much more fair score now. Now you can see like the real score here. Uh, around 2438 here on the Galaxy S4 versus 2178. So it's really not far behind. And most of the times, I mean, sure, you have a quad-core processor, but some, many times you don't need that, really. Uh, the dual-core, like 1.6 or 1.7 GHz, if I can recall, uh, dual-core pro clock processor, usually you won't see a massive difference in terms of performance. And also we have this issue with the Galaxy S4 that it could become super, super warm. Uh, it's already warm right now versus the, uh, the Mega, which isn't really that hot. Uh, so it could be an issue there, uh, especially in gaming, you only like need a very good dual core processor to almost have the same game experience as you would get on a high-end smartphone, so think about that.